Okay, good day view as well. The lamp on this thing works beautifully. Did some more tests and I started working it switched back as it forwards like this, you're going crazy with it. Flicking it, just going really crazy, and all of a sudden the lamp came on. So it looks like we've got bad contacts in that switch. It's just dirty, the lamp wasn't working because of that switch. I was getting nothing on this transformer. That was weird. Okay. So it's switched with oh, the inner set of contacts. There's a second new stage. You've got the first stage, another one behind it. So there's two sets of switches. The second set behind it has actually got the bad contacts. Time to give it the bath and contact cleaner. It's like grease like. A little bit sticky. Yeah, that's going to get a silicon spray. It's all unplugged safety first. And that's actually um, not even an Eclipse or plug. It's a Fotex brand. Fotex. Oh, it must be specific for projectors of this make. Interesting. 10 amp to 50 volt. The plug top's good. I keep the plug top. But the cord, nah, too short. The way too short, that's very inconveniently short, so that's going to be updated to the current cord. So that's the solder, I'll have to pull that front switch module out, that switch panel, and really solder it. So that's going to be the active. Goes right in there, and that's your neutral. That's your earth, yeah. This is a 1960s standard colour coding there. Anyway, that's very sticky. And that and there clicks and goes like that. When this thing runs backwards, because it hits on a gear and flicks like that. That's what makes a clicking sound when it runs backwards. But that grease is very sticky. So it's time to uh, refresh it up a bit. This stuff's usually good for this sort of thing. It's industrial. This stuff smells like fly, fly spray. Let it bubble up and it will turn into a grease. Now run it for a bit, let it work in. Oh, that's all sticky actually, but that shouldn't matter because it needs a grip on that anyway, so it's just this mechanism here that needs it. Especially where that worm gear is, so give it a good run. Now I'll show you the switch. Now I haven't contact cleaned it yet, but this is before I contact clean it and show you what it's doing. Okay, now it's in going forwards. It's a bit quieter now that I put the grease in that from the silicon spray. That ought to make it run a bit smoother. There it came on, see? Backwards, it works better backwards a lot. Keep going backwards, it works. That's cool. You let that silicon spray work in, it'd be good for it. Now this doesn't turn now. Yeah. I've got to put some grip on this thing so this thing works. But that's part of what's feeding it. So this is guiding it to feed anyway. So it shouldn't matter if that doesn't turn. It's supposed to turn, but I think it's supposed to slip, design the slip. I've got to get something in it to give it a bit of grip, just in case the um, it chews the reel up. Hey, it works, going forward. It's that switch. A brief cleaning of the commutator there, on that rag. Come on, back on. Damn switch. Annoying. Oh, there it goes. That's got plenty of it. I have to run something inside that to get all that gunk out. It's got no backwards torque though. Or whip. This isn't going to clutch so I can't go backwards. Been clicking backwards and forwards. Put a bit on that cam lab, I reckon. Just a tiny bit on the, on with a screwdriver because I don't want to get it in the path where the film goes. Dab it on. That's where it's going to get a lot of wear on that bit, so I'm going to put some on there to protect it a little bit. Put a tiny bit on there, it's a quick dab. That's it. Oh, that's probably a bit too much. I'll give it a run for a bit just so it cleans itself up. And now it's uh, I have to clean that. Running a bit smoother too, see? 
and it smells of fly spray, that doesn't matter. A lamp fan calls a lamp here. Hey, it's actually running faster. That's running faster. There was all that grease gunking it all up. That's better. Shit, that's running a lot off here. That's running a lot better. Yeah, the forward contacts. The contacts when this is in the forward position put a lot of real dirty. Come on. You can do it, Lord. There we go. Yep, bad switch. Oh, that's better. See, now it never needs to have a torque when it was that low because it was so sticky in there now. So they can throw speed it up. That's better. She's running healthier now. That earth core getting hit by that little thing, a brush of wiper hitting it. Beautiful. All contact cleaned and all whiz back and forth like forward like mad. That crazy with it, really crazy. You can see we're in the normal, but the lamp's not turned on. This tiny, from the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's a tiny contact up here. You might be able to see, but there's a little micro switch like contact, and that's the contact that turns the light on. And it looks a wee bit dirty. It's been bathed in contact cleaner. Yeah, there it is up there. Just see it there. That's our contact for the light switch. That switch has gotten pretty dirty, so I'm going to pull this um, front part off and drag it out and attempt to replace this power cord. I'm probably going to use this one and put a better industrial one on this drive. Yeah, let's update the power cord. Up to date, it's the best, safest option. Always we'll have an up to date power cord. Yeah, that's just too short. Way too short. Power cord I'm going to use. Current production. And use a plug top made in Japan. It's a Japanese made plug top, not an Australian made plug top. Mmm, that vintage rubbery smell. It's all rubber. There you go. Japanese made plug tops original to this machine. Why they put a short cord on it from the factory, I don't know. Doesn't appear to, it might have been cut down. Put that tape in it though, it might have been. That starts fraying. But it's getting the place too short. And it's not um, standard color coding anymore. So we're gonna pull that switch out, lift and move that module out to solder the active half on. That should be all right. It's pretty easy once I get that switch out. It's right at the front. Yeah, pretty straight forward, pretty easy. Let's get going. An up to date power cord has been successfully installed properly with its original plug top. No grip nut, so I might, I might eventually put a clips or mod one on there just so it's got the grip nut. Yeah, because the uh, grip nuts weren't mandatory back then and you had this problem a lot. Not even any um, anchor points for the wires to wrap around. That's just pulling straight off the screws on the terminal um, pins. So, yeah, that'll probably be a keeper for a display piece that plug top. Neaten up all the wiring in there so it's not touching or hitting any of the um uh, the potentiometer, the rest that I mean. This thing doesn't want to turn though, so it's a bit slippery. But it's working very well, the fan's working. That's a micro switch, if you want to pause it, you hold that and turns it off. Pauses it on that slide, get a time out of course. S and R, not sure what that does, but how it actually moves is beyond me. I wonder how that actually moves, what I'll have to do to move that, press the thread. To the thread that, press it in and explosive release or something. And that adjusts the tension I think. Just 
first I adjust the tank head inside. Oh, not much torque, but I can stop it with my hand. This thing is not turning, see? It's got no grip. I have to re grip that somehow. I've got to restore the grip on this thing here so it just turns. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to turn, but it relies on these things to feed the tape up. So it's going that way, so the tape's going to come off there, around there, guide it, under that spool, feed around there. No, it goes off this one, around here, up here. I have, to, I have to look at the book, find the instructions to it, but yeah, it goes around here, around here, around here, or straight under here somewhere. There's a guide somewhere on the book. A spare spool goes under there too. So that's gonna find where the fed the um where the guides are, where the spools the, the film's gonna go. You must have to go this way. Back down in that guide, behind there. So I pull back on there, go back that way, up there, and wind on there. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Anyway, it's all fixed. Working better than ever. And safer than ever with an up-to-date cord. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.